Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can update your data screens for the training mode on your Casio G-Shock GBX100 watch. This is kind of a clunky feature that Casio does, but nonetheless, it can be done. The reason it's clunky is because you can't really do it on the watch. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and press the top right button, and we're gonna go into our training mode. When you go into the training mode, you have three different display screens. You've got this one. If you press display, you've got this one. Press display again, you have this one. The data elements that are showing on the screen, for example, this one, we have lap time, we have lap distance, and we have lap pace. They each contain three data fields. If you wanna change what's being shown on those data fields, you have to go to the Casio G-Shock Move app, configure it on the Move app, and then sync the changes over to the watch. The reason I say it's clunky is there's other companies out there like Garmin that will let you change or configure it on the watch or on the app, whichever one you choose. Whereas Casio, you're confined to doing it on the app. So let's go on the app, let's change one of these, and then we'll take a look at it on the watch when we're done with it. Okay, so as I mentioned, now I'm on my cell phone. We're gonna go into the G-Shock Move app. Once it pulls up, we're gonna click on More at the very bottom right. And then we're gonna click on Watch. And under Watch, we're going to click under Training on Training Face. When you get into this customization area, you will see three different options. You've got set one, set two, and set three. Those are correlating to the same display watch faces that we were looking at on the watch for training mode. So I'm just gonna choose one of these. Set one, I clicked on it for split time. We've got all of these different options that we can change is basically our data field. So I'm just gonna set this, I'm gonna choose time for the center, I'm gonna choose date. And then for the bottom, I'm gonna choose, um, let's do energy consumption. So you could do that on each of these. If I wanted to change set two, I would do the same thing. If I wanted to choose change set three, I would change. Again, it's not near as good as your Garmin watches. You've got three data fields per watch face, whereas the Garmin watches, I think you get up to five data fields per watch face, and then you can have multiple uh, watch faces per activity. But nonetheless, we've got it customized. We're gonna click send at the top, and that is going to send the change over to our watch. You'll notice it says sending complete. Now let's go get on the watch, and let's take a look at our new training face. All right, so now we're back. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the top right button, again, to get into the training mode. And we are going to click the display button to cycle through our different displays, this is the one that we just configured. It's got our time, it's got our date, and it's got our calories, which I guess is our energy consumption. Instead of saying calories burned, they refer to it as energy consumption. So it works pretty well. You can customize it, at least when you're out doing an activity or doing a workout. You can look at your display uh, faces and you can see relevant data depending on what you're wanting to see. Not as great as some watches, but at this price point, at least they give you some options. That's how we customize our training watch faces on the G-Shock GBX100 watch. I hope the video helped. 